Welcome YouTube to my new tutorial on how to make a static grass like grass but homemade. So this is very easy. All you'll need is an old brush that you don't need anymore, a brush you can paint with, some scissors and some green paint. It doesn't have to be acrylic paint, it can just be ready mixed poster colour. You can see that, but yeah. So, yeah, that's all you need. Okay? Now, to start off with, measure about 5mm to a centimetre down in your paintbrush, so about that, what's painted green. So, I have started this. So, all you're going to have to do is get your paint, green paint and just paint the top section green it's going to have to be a nice grass kind of green although you can do it a different darker and duller colour if you want a kind of dead grass Okay, so I haven't done the inside of this but you're going to have to get paint all insides as well so it doesn't look odd with just half of it painted and then the bristles inside aren't make sure it's quite thickly coated on because you don't want this to be rubbing off but yeah this is not my first um, Warhammer Citadel tutorial. Um, I have got also how to make a wash very easily at your home and also a Warhammer 40k montage kind of thing. Me and my brother just slapped up quickly. So it's not brilliant but it was literally just like a 10 minute project. Okay, so once you've done that you should end up with something a bit like this mine's still wet so insides all the bristles are painted too right in there ok so basically the top section of your brush should be completely painted green now any ex excess paint won't really matter because this brush you don't have to throw it away afterwards because we are going to be only cutting off a little bit like there so it this brush will be still usable but it may have green marks on down the bottom but that doesn't really matter because paint brushes get dirty anyway so yes now you're going to need to get your scissors out and also probably a pot to catch the strands in okay okay so well I thought while we're waiting for that to dry I might as well show you a new rebel project I'm working on this is the jagged tiger tank or something like that I don't know what it's actually called I can't pronounce it well called that but well, I don't know no. anyway um yeah this is the new rebel tank I'm working on although well, it's not a new set it's quite a classic old set but it's quite a nice build and I think it looks quite good Um, I need to get those sprues off the sprue joints because they won't cut very well um, but yeah this is a pretty nice tank obviously it's not finished yet but it will have a Cannon on it. Um, yeah, I'll get you the box. Okay, so this is the box. It is, I think, Jagged Tiger. Yeah, I do believe this is 132 scale because it's in the same um, size arrangement as the World War 2 troops. So they're about the 
right size, so I reckon that's 142 scale as well. Um, or 145. It says in the box, but I think 135 now converted. It's a 135 there. I think 135 now converted will be pretty much the equivalent of 132. Um, so yeah, this is a nice set. It comes with instruction manual. Um, it's just paper. And also an information booklet about the Jagged Tiger. So it's got all the information and stuff on it in two different languages. I'd imagine uh, the one on the left is probably German and obviously this is English. But yeah, so it's got the information and stuff there <laughs> and also like measurements and it's also got like the decals and where they go different things about it. So yeah, I'm currently working on that and it is a nice set. So it's going to be fun to paint and fun to build. Uh, but yes, quite a powerful piece of armour there. Hmm, pack a punch. So yeah, this measures 29.7 centimetres long. So if you don't know, that's almost as long as the ruler. Um, actually, it's point. Three millimeters less than the ruler. Oh, well. I don't care about that. Um, so yeah, I do recommend seeing if you can get this set because I think it's she's been taken out of the stores now because it's quite old. Um, it's probably about 1990s set, maybe 1990s to very low 2000s. But yeah, I don't think you can get this on in the stores now. So I'd look on eBay or something for it, but yeah. So yeah, just wanted to show you that while we had a bit of time for it to dry, because this will take a long time to dry. It's still not dry yet, and it's been there for like ten minutes. And I've got paint on the oh. Um. So yeah, you may have to leave that for a bit, but it doesn't really matter. So I'll come back to it later then when it's dried. Okay. Okay, and I've also just thought I could show you my villains and terrain. So yeah, this is Tyranid Ambush. And the Tyranids come in an ambush in Pyrrhal Guards and their captain as they come along. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is only some of my Tyranids turned against here, but. Yeah, but I must say this set is unfinished. It will have static grass and more sand and stuff on, and the sand will be painted. But I just wanted to show you it so you knew what's coming up. Okay, so here we have a nice little puddle or pool. I think. That's quite nice. That's made out of glue actually, just salmon PVA glue. I'll do a tutorial on how to make that later. Um, here we have like the ruins and it's all falling down. And all the black stuff come off. That was perfect. All the black there. Yeah. Um, yes. So, here we have the marine behind his little barricade bunker. And this, I've been meaning to do a tutorial on how to make this too. Um, this is inspired by the Aegis defence line. Actually, I it's better light. Um, but yeah, it's basically just a little defence bunker. Your soldiers can hide behind and shoot through, like that. Choosing the right size to them. I'm sorry for the poor quality. Um, but yeah, this is fairly simple to make, this is more like a medium skilled thing to do. Um, but yeah, this is quite nice. Um, well, okay, it's very nice for what it is and how long it took me. It took me about half an hour, an hour maybe, 
all the time put together. It is fairly fiddly, but I think it's worth it really. So I do like that. And yeah, I'll do a tutorial on how to make that very effectively. Um, that is in the right size as well. So you can see we've got static glass on. So we're aiming with our little brush in there, um, to make static glass slightly like this. Possibly just a slightly darker tone though. So yeah. And also, this is my, well, the start of my little crater or missile crash site. You know, it's like there's been an explosion and it's all rooted the ground up. That's real metal. So yeah, that's real metal. That's styrofoam type material. And this is just a little plastic cap I got off a tube. So all this is is on a cardboard base for now. I will do it on a wood one later. I'll mount it on that, but just for now to get the right shape, I'm doing that on a card base. So the actual crater itself is made out of styrofoam, and I do need to paint this quite a lot more. I just never got bound to it. Um. So yeah, it's just styrofoam and it used to be just a flat circle or a flat square and I just cut out the circle and then dug down and up again and once I got the rough circle in there lower and it just started like taking little slices out the side to make it look more realistic and natural in a sense like carnage from like say like a rhino or something from things or land feeder that's been exploded in that. So yeah, I'll just show you the size comparison. That's how big a figure is to the explosion. So a fairly big explosion there. Um, that is just a standard Imperial Guard Caden shop tube. There, I painted that too. So yeah, all of this stuff I will be doing tutorials on how to make soon and also I'm in the process of making some battle damage walls like that. That's out of styrofoam too. That's just like the that thing. So yeah, styrofoam is very useful. I mean mine's not the styrofoam like say different iron tube uses. Mine's a slightly softer one, but it's Mm, a bit easier to work with and um, so I've just been using my little Swiss army knife and it works very effectively um, so yeah and also another thing you can do with the um, styrofoam you can make little rocks and stuff like this because that's a styrofoam rock funny enough it actually is and then these walls they're just made out of this foam board thing. It's just basically some special foam with two pieces of card on the outside to keep it in place and make it more strong. But you see that that's strong. That. Even that's strong and that's a little piece. Um and that's uh, on purpose so it gets glued down. Um so yeah, these are just things that I'm going to show you. I've said that for the ninth time now, probably. Anyway, we all like a good long time. Okay, back to waiting. Da -da -da. And I've also just bought. No, not really. I'm just joking. Right. Okay, I really can't wait any longer. It's just getting a bit boring now. But while we're here. Check out my chaplain! Yeah, that's my Space Marine chaplain there. It's painted slightly differently, it's meant to be black, um, blue shoulders, but yeah, I don't care. His helmet's black, so that still counts. And Back on with the dress. Okay, so what you're going to have to do now is just again measure down about 5mm down from the top of your brush 
and just cut through that. Oh, that's not dry at all. And just cut through that onto your, well, not really onto, into your pot. Then you'll see it may come out like that, but that's alright because it's like wiggling around a bit, then it'll separate. So I actually get quite a bit, quite a reasonable sized amount of grass in this one chop. You can do it at different sizes too. You can do it small, angled, all sorts. It's a bit sloppy to me. Okay, so now it will turn out a bit like that really. So you're going to have to mix them around and wait for them to dry. But that's pretty much it. Your brush will end up like that. So it's still usable, just slightly shorter. And also it's got paint on it. So, yeah. In this video you've been shown how to make grass, or static grass like grass, easily. I'll never forget that phrase, static grass like grass. Um, easily and also other terrain and things that I'm working on and that I'm going to do tutorials for later in the time, the time of something. I don't know what time is. But it's a tie. Okay, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, all that busier. Yeah. Um, so yeah, bye.